This is a question that comes up so often in my classes. I can't believe I haven't made a video about it already. And the technique is fairly simple. In fact, once you see how to create lacing in Illustrator, you'll probably wonder why you ever were having problems with it in the first place. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mikkel Drew Pelham. I talk about digital fashion design software and communication on this channel. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Lacing is used in all different types of fashion apparel and accessories from corsets to sneakers to boots to apparel items that include a lace up design detail. And for the most part, unless you're doing something really different, the pattern of the lacing is the same. And for all of those items, you can create the lacing the same exact way in Illustrator. Start by creating the grommet or eyelets that are going to go on the product. And I recently showed how simply you can make a rivet in this video. And a grommet is made exactly the same way, except the second circle isn't quite as small. Once you've made your grommet or eyelet, group it or make it into a symbol. And quick sidebar, if you know you're going to be using this trim often, it's a good idea to save it in your CC libraries and then place them as you want them on your garment. To make the actual laces or ties, I'm just going to use the pen tool. Draw a line and increase the stroke weight until it's as wide as the width of the opening of the eyelet. And then I'm going to outline the stroke by going to Object, Path, Outline Stroke. This way, when I'm ready to add color, I'll be able to just fill the laces with a color and still have a black stroke around the edges. A big part of making the lacing look believable is making sure you get the lacing pattern correct. So the first part of the lacing is just a straight line. And when you're done drawing it, send it to the back so it looks like it's behind the eyelets. Then, as you draw the ribbon lacing through the eyelets, make sure you draw it coming from an eyelet on one side but then stopping at the edge of the opposite side because it'll go under the other side of the facing of the garment, be laced through that eyelet, and then come through that eyelet on the front of the garment to repeat the same process on the other side. I hope that all made sense. It's a good thing you're watching this. I think for a lot of my students, it's this part that gets a little confusing when you're drawing it. And this is also when I remind them that it's always helpful to have an actual garment or a picture of a garment with the trim or construction you're trying to draw so you can really see what's happening. Now, the ties as is are fine, but they do feel a little more like a cord being laced through, not a flat tie. So one of the things I do is I'll go in and remove the rounded or flat end where the tie exits the eyelet. And I'll redraw that section to have more of a concave curve, which is what the tie looks like as you're pulling it against the edge of the eyelet. Sometimes I'll even add shape and add a few wrinkle lines. It's not a necessity and it's a smaller detail that your manufacturer may or may not notice, but I like to update this to stay truer to what the actual garment really looks like.
Continue this all the way down the garment and when you get to the bottom, you can either end it with the laces hanging loose or you can tie a bow. And if you want to see how I create a bow in Illustrator, you can check out this video. The other thing you could do is create a brush for the lacing. It might get a little tricky creating the correct angle for the edge that feeds under the facing, but if you can get it right, it's definitely an efficient way to create these ties. And then once you've drawn your ties, you can fill them with whatever color you want and finish your sketch. Thanks for watching today's video. If you are a beginner looking to learn Illustrator for Fashion Design, click the link in the description to sign up for my Illustrator for Fashion Design Level 1 course. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you find it helpful. Have a fantastic week, and I'll see you next time.